Hello everyone and welcome back. So today in this video, I'm going to show you a new operating system project EOS. It's a complete de-googled version of Android OS. It has an open source Android OS core with no Google apps or Google services accessing your personal data, ensuring that your personal information stays under your control. There are a lot of custom privacy features to cover in this video. Anyways, let's start the video. First of all, make sure that your device bootloader should be unlocked and also installed with compatible TWRP recovery so that you can install ROMs based on your device model. EOS is available for some official and for some unofficial devices or GSI ROMs. You need to search get ROM based on your device model. All right now, power of the device. Boot into TWRP recovery. The installation process is same as usual, as I shown in my previous videos. So follow all the steps carefully. Now I will install the ROM. Hereafter you don't need to install any G apps or others, because this ROM is only meant for mainly designed for the people who want more privacy. Now reboot device. Alright, now device starts to boot. There we go, we are on the welcome screen. Just complete the setup process. Look at the home screen, guys. It sounds more like iPhone iOS UI design. Oh ho ho, the search bar gesture. The control panel is normal. The side panel feels the same, and widgets option on bottom. Here we have some cool privacy features, like you can block app trackers, and there is an option of fake geolocation, and hide your IP address, that's great. Let's open this thing. All right, here we on the dashboard. There are more custom privacy features. Here you can hide your IP address by different VPN locations or by random country. You can set random geolocations or set specific location. You can set these for the apps you want to protect or basically to get prevent from tracking. You can view statistics of apps that use your data or track. You can control, it's all up to you. The UI feels a bit like iOS UI design, as I mentioned. And also the app animations feel the same. None of these apps are based on Google. These system apps implemented by EOS from App Store to the call dialer, everything. If we compare side by side, the animations look the same. But the iPhone feels so smooth. All right, now coming to the App Store. It comes with most of the compatible apps. All the apps are based on open source bricks, unless Google apps. But still you can install Google apps as it comes with micro G support. Simple go to settings, system settings. You will find micro G option. You will get a doubt that what is Micro-G? Well, it is a free and open source implementation of proprietary Google libraries that serves as a replacement for Google Play services. Got it. Okay, let's head over to settings. The settings UI looks basic, simple. Here we have an updater. Right now, we are running on the latest EOS build. What about customizations? These are same as usual that we've seen on other ROMs. The customizations of wallpapers, lock screen, and everything will be the same as lineage build. In security, we have open keychain. You can create keys, use security token, and make your device more protected. Well, I forgot to mention, this ROM runs on a bit old Android 13 based on lineage build, but with a latest June security patch. Makes sense. Well, it doesn't matter for open source projects. You can also customize the Google services based on you want with the safety net support as well, which is basically for devices certification and security. What about camera? Well, it comes with custom features with camera to API support even on a non-Snapdragon device. That's pretty cool. So, these are the things I just wanted to let you know. Anyways, that's all for today's video, guys. Hope you liked. Also, make sure you subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.